Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL Season 50 first round match between God of War and Ducky. Um, <laughs> Ducky has got quite a bit better team than, um, than God of War. God of War has got a bribe, a wizard, Griff Overwald and helmet. So he's got a lot, a lot, a lot of inducements here. His, his team is missing three blitzers. He's he's only got one blitzer there with uh, guard and mighty blow, and uh, he's got two strength up throwers that are both move bust. No, one one's move bust, I think. One's move bust. Oh, you know they're both move bust, but one's armor up, so one's like a chaos warrior. <laughs> this 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 throw is like a chaos warrior. He's 150 TV, and he'd be a chaos warrior with sure hands and pass, which would also be 150 TV. So he's, this guy. <laughs> <laughs> pretty funny, pretty funny character. Um, Ducky has, you know, a pretty, pretty nice Wood Elf team. I think this is one of the more exciting Wood Elf teams in the tournament. Um, oh wow, this just has a movement, which is very bare bones. I guess he would have really loved to have played more games to get him more skills, but of course, very risky with two Edge Five Dancers. You don't want them to to, to lose them. Dodge Guarders. You don't want to lose them. Strength up wrestle, you know, so he's got some really nice players. But um the only thing he's missing is is like a really this this catch being finished. Um but very nice a very nice team for Ducky and capable of winning Chalice for sure. Hello, Savage <laughs> Glorious. Um yeah, did, did they end up those? Did those things end up pretty good though? That TV, that series, it seemed ruish when I was watching it. <laughs> Hello, Jack Ball. <laughs> I ignored you. Yeah, it's because you play Foxhole. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the human team was a lot better. But like you know, so if it had its three, if it had its three blitzers back, it would look it would look all right. It would look all right if it had three blitzers. Like it has three decent blitzers, which adds like six hundred TB to the team. Left of the most boring one. I, I had completely zoned out in that match. I was like, "Fuck this! Fuck this for a game of soldiers." It was just I don't know. Like the the first two were so crap that I thought I'm not gonna. You know, uh, th there's many a time when I would just sit through a TV show because I started, you know, a TV series because I started watching it, and now. I think fuck that. Do you know what I mean? Like I've got no, I've got no qualms about fucking noping out of a TV series. So when the first two were shit, I was like, right, see you later, mate. <laughs> I'm not going to stick around and hope it improves. <laughs> Just Jimmy. Oh, sorry, Daedle. Yep. Okay. Right. <laughs> um, yep. I can't hear anybody. Right. Give me a moment, and I will sort it out. I'll. Long story from why nobody can hear you, Daedle. But um, I'll. I'll sort it out. I'll sort it out. Trust me. Trust me. I'm a. I'm a doctor. Hello? Hello? Hello, yes, glorious. Glorious. How are you today, sir? Well, better now that you're here. You're <laughs> oh, <alive>. oh, wonderful. <laughs> no, 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 just because just because you're not talking in the void, not because of me. Okay. <laughs> you still can't. Yes, you can hear, Daedal. Shut up. Hello, Daedal. Can everybody hear you? I uh, hope so. Yes, J5 would be one to troll you, so like we, we can't know for sure. Yes, yes, he is. Someone left the pitch there. Did they? I've already, I've already lost interest in this. Yep, a uh, garda, a garda, a blodge garda. Um, so I mean, that's the thing that could make it interesting, right? If Ducky just has armor three with no survivability. Hmm. He is down a. Uh, he's like he's 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 only on twelve, 
and this is an edge three guy, so he's not got a great uh, he's not got a great bench, I guess. So that's like the weakness of the team, isn't it? Is is not yeah. many players, but everyone's got skills. Like I mean, apart from this guy yeah, that I'm looking at that hasn't got skills. Really nice, yeah. Really nice. Uh, you know, obviously massively favoured, isn't he, Ducky here? But, yeah. I mean, Guy War is not slouch. Uh, so, like, there's, like, even though you'd probably favour Ducky, like, it's not a huge skill disparity, um, coaching-wise. No, true. True. And, uh, you know, had this been a full team of God War, I think it'd be pretty close. You know, like, three mm -hmm. Blitzers would have a huge impact, wouldn't they? But like he's got no tackle, which is you know not. Yeah, that's rats you drew with us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's horrendous. <laughs> Did he miss his own strength one? It looks like it, doesn't it? But then maybe he just I don't know if he had any, you know, anyone else there to go and assist. Oh yeah, he's got strength like, one, hasn't he? Uh, he's confident that he can turn him over um, or has a better chance of turning him over than than a, actually like letting in a touchdown yeah and it, it gets gets rid of the saw though it didn't because he used the bribe but yeah but yeah starts mm. getting rid of those probes and everything yeah it's not it's not bad the saw, really. decisions and the whiz the whiz is a lot less effective on his own offense isn't it so yeah yeah Other uh, tree was rooted as well. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yep, yep. Rooted tree. All sorts of reasons why it was good. Yeah. To um. To score. The edge up on both those dancers is just <laughs> ridiculous, isn't it? I couldn't even qualify though when I <laughs> when I had a jump ball. <laughs> <laughs> when I had Arjun both of my ability catch. I couldn't remember to score because I was so mesmerized by mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. Hilarious. We're, we're like the worst two people. <laughs> the worst two people in Chalice history with Arjun 5 dancers. There you go. We're perfectly qualified to, to commentate on this. <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot you made me the Swedish chat. <laughs> it's glorious, <laughs> isn't it? I just have like three characters that you keep swap. <laughs> yeah, it's because we never made you in JFW and now I can't put your face in unless it's in 2K22, which is like, oh, I can't be bothered. Uh, is that a bad game? Or... It's, it's, just, it's just a pain in the ass having to remake everybody and then like... The ropes are terrible, and it's just oh, I can't be bothered. Uh, no, just can't be bothered. Can't be bothered. Swedish kiss, yeah. I was <laughs> 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 starting to think about what that could possibly be. <laughs> Different from French Kiss <laughs> and from French Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably just rimming. <laughs> <laughs> See, red hair went for buttholes as well. That was the obvious connection with sweets. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing with me behaving like an ass all time. <laughs> oh dear. No, don't be mean to yourself. <laughs> Not on this channel. Oh. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're never we're never mean we're never mean to anybody on this channel. No. This is this is a safe haven. Yeah. Forever. Except PC, fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, of all the people to fucking get in the first round. Hello, fellow. Hey, everybody. 
They did Velo out here, but they've got three blitzers missing the game. So, like, their team was all right. Their team was literally all right. Like, not great, but it was all right. And then they've got three blitzers missing next. So, um, you know, they're like 1,300 or something. They've got they've got millions of inducements. Griff, Helmet, Bribe, Wizard. So, uh, there you go. They had double Bribe. No, one Bribe. They used that now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Swedish midfielder, when he signed for Sunderland, there was a clause in his contract saying he couldn't go to space. <laughs> I mean, I wish I had that in my Blood Bowl contract. <laughs> I'd have, have, have lost six less games. <laughs> so when you're the Hugh lad for the season, it's just... <laughs> Everyone paving the way for space to come and grab it from you. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, no. I'll have 2,000 TV chaos and then space will just turn up with, like, 1,500 nodes. Bam, seven cars. <laughs> Wonderful. Oh, dear me. Dear, oh, dear. Right, let's, let's try and have a look at chat here. Um... Well, J5, maybe he didn't know he was in a position to qualify. Maybe he just, like, you know, he could have been... He could have just not the, realised he was qualifying. The race, I think, was pretty tight as well. Like, there, a lot of uh, races turned pretty tight on the last day of the season. Yeah. Yeah, so there you go. Yep, and uh, hello, Rogue Gangster. Hello, Waleed. And, uh... Hey, everyone. <laughs> I'm not sure Dadelquist qualifies as Swedish. He's down there in the south. They're mostly Danish. <laughs> wow. Screw you, Sagittarius. <laughs> there you go. Human race was too tight. There you go, Veli. Veli knows. Veli's got humans, hasn't he? The bashiest team. Yeah. Yep. As always, always qualifies. Well, not always. Usually qualifies as, with the bashiest team. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, both he and Unger have proven it, so mm. it is true. It really is, yeah. <laughs> well, you say that uh, you say that J five, but some people qualify with Amazons, and they know they'll never win Chalice. So you know, <laughs> it's, just, <laughs> it's just the nature of it, isn't it? It is what it is. I mean, and and like you could be given the flings in the first round, and then yeah, you're ninety percent. I've been so fucking obsessed with that that you're about to go on holiday really, and, really and need it, like right? you can't even fucking qualify yeah. with the team. So and you just decide to play more so fucking rounds. What the fuck? Why the fuck would anyone yeah. play that much? Because you're too much around. But... And you've got Griff. You've got Griff and a wizard. Like you know that yeah. you'd have had a much better so. chance versus like me than he just against Ducky. <laughs> Yeah. You know, there's a, there's a few I mean, teams he, he could have got that he, he would have had a yeah, shot. Yeah, exactly. Against. He got very unlucky with the draw. And, like, what, you're not going to take your ticket? Like, that's... Then you've got no chance of winning. Mm -hmm. I'd Crap rather have point one chance of winning than not. You miss every shot you don't take. Exactly. Oh, wow. It's got block. <laughs> It's like, how, how unlucky is that? He didn't get the power, but he's got blocks, so he can get to removal. <laughs> I'm not sure about this. Like, okay, you can't get surf because you've got to stand firm, but you can just get banged out because you're on a bloody five. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't like that either. It's... It's, uh, It's greedy. Like, yeah, it ties up three yelps for him to take that hit. Um, if he doesn't want to, like, that's it, but... So what? Yeah, interesting that he put these all in and then blitzed him as well. Yeah. Um, Maybe he changed his mind, I was thinking... Oh, about it's because he was making it. the screen with these anyway, I guess. But yeah, you would oh, think, yeah. oh, he's strength one. He missed his own strength one again. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he's missed his strength one twice. <laughs> Who knows? I fucking hate strength balls than anything. I think it's the worst. Like, you can't have a strength one. It's so shit. 
Yeah, yeah, o only natties. That, that's like the only thing I would keep it on, basically. Yeah, and maybe then, a core bomber, depending on the situation. Like, you know, a beast man with strength two. Like, as stupid as it is, if it's like in the chalice, like, you know, quart, maybe it's even quarters onwards. If or even maybe just chalice onwards, a if you get a minus strength beast man, like, he's still 300 blitz, isn't he? Like, and it's yeah. still so overpowered having claw palm compared to not having yeah. claw palm. So, yeah, I guess, I guess. Beastman, Claw Pommer, and Natty are about the only strength downs I would keep. Yeah. Uh, do That's you guys the... don't play as ogres? I mean, yes, you shouldn't play as ogres ever. No. <laughs> Nobody should ever. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody should ever play as ogres. Yes, noblers are okay to have a minor strength as well. Yes, okay. Okay, that's a that's fair because it's not actually no, I'm just shot in the face. <laughs> it's not actually minus strength nobblers, but it's still and I no, guess I guess some like half like super flings and super gobbles you could keep with minus. But again it's they're just, still kind of like nineties, aren't they? You can't really like because like it, and and I guess this is the thing, right? I play my teams a little bit differently than some people do, and for me, like everyone needs to be able to screen. Everyone needs to be able to do their part because, like, at some points, I will get banged out, and I will need reliable screens and like anyone to take a punch. And a strength one will just get. Three died all the time, always be on the ground, always rolling armor and rolls like and at best he's on the field for two turns. So yeah. It's so dumb and he can't do anything productive on offense, like except put put in an assist. Yeah. And and, and scoring the throw teammate, that's the thing, isn't it? Like if, if he had him yeah. like, you know, add five, move eight. <laughs> Strength one, you would keep that, wouldn't you? If it was a goblin, yeah. a goblin with move eight and edge five, you would keep is, or whatever. There is always, but even then, I would be sad. And look at that oh, you'd be one. very, you'd be very fucking sad. Yeah. yeah, it'd be a tragedy. It would be an absolute tragedy. But I just sat DP goblin like that's seventy k. Like <laughs> he's always, he's already the biggest threat. Like no, why? Hmm. I wonder if he should have not activated there, because he couldn't really go far with him, could he? Yeah. I if maybe just holding this, holding the edge with him I, was yeah, good enough. I, yeah, I agree. I think that side was strong enough with him there. It's it's easy to say that obviously after the after the <laughs> after the route, but still, it's like. I mean, it, the, the only thing I can think of is him wanting to centralize the three. The yeah. Three. Um, and that that's why he moved him. But he doesn't need to do that. Yeah. I think if he was move three, I would have activated him to get him to here. But yeah. move two, I, I just feel like he's not going far enough over there. So maybe I wouldn't hey. have done. But I mean, I, I might have done. What, what I would have probably done is I would have probably done exactly the same as Ducky. I would have probably activated it, failed the route, and then like, why the hell did I activate him? He's not even yeah. doing it. He's not even improving much by going there. I asked four he rolls, nice. Did he uh, win a kickoff event or uh, did he come in with four? Because um, I can't see a leader. Uh, I'm guessing he won one off the kickoff because four is yeah. a lot to have rostered, isn't it? That tree is just a free wizard for the humans, yeah. He's, he's expensive, isn't he? 170 TV. The thing is, like, against humans, he's pretty good. Um, because they're at three, um, you can usually tie up like something with it, um, force that something to make an awkward dodge, or hopefully get it to the the ogre. Um, this human team is not as good against because the ogre has break tackle. But um, this is one of the matchups where where you're actually happy to have the tree because they're they're fast enough to keep up with you humans yes. um so having that strength uh, strength six piece especially with block um it's it's helping a lot in, in like helping you navigate the pitch like controlling which parts of the pitch are open for the uh, for the humans and it's not really strictly a free wizard because you know he's already getting 500 TV before the, 500 yeah. inducements before the tree, so you know it's just it's just changing what you're getting basically. Um, so yeah, that's it makes it 
You know, once you once you're up TV, you just want more and more shit, don't you? Basically. Yeah. Is multi block it's, so bad? It's not that bad for it's trees. But better for fling trees, right? It's good for fling trees multi block yeah, because yeah. they have to make all of the blocks because the team relies on them. Whereas for woodies trees, just need to stand around and and absorb th you know absorb things basically. So yeah, I, w I would don't, I'm not sure I'd ever take multi block on a on a on a fl on a woody tree, but for a fling tree, totally fine. It's, it's grab and guard you really want on a woody tree. Um, grab so that when the tree roots, uh, it's still useful um, in in holding things, and then guard so that when you use the tree uh, to to keep stay around, uh, the tree is actually helping uh, with the assists. Um, and other than that, you won't level the tree that much on ways because you're not taking as many blocks yeah. as you are on, on flings. Yeah, whereas flings, flings tend to level their trees quite a lot. <laughs> yeah. They'll have like a team with two two superstar trees and no skills at all on their halflings and stuff. Yeah, so, <laughs> so in those situations, yeah, and grab multi-block, very nice for blocking uh, two people and keeping them both next to you, yeah. Pom is pretty powerful. Certainly, if I had a jump up tree, I wouldn't mind taking piling on on it. <laughs> I would like to see the tree piling on then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's like a YouTube compilation of all the animations, but I don't want to cheat. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you could just blit. Yeah, for a block, it would be a. It would be a. Uh, would it be a? It'd be a four plus, wouldn't it? A four plus to get back up for a tree, because it's two plus for agile. You're never making that block. That's stupid. Yes, no. You, you. I mean, almost, almost certainly, you'd have to be like, you'd have had to nearly pitch clear them, right, to to yeah. be able to just do vanity four plus jumps ups. Uh, I don't think I'd ever take strong arm on a fling tree. I'm not. I'm not. A, they start. They start with strong. Oh yeah, of course it is. They start with strong arm. Yeah, I don't know why. I, I don't know why. <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention. I was like, I wouldn't pay. I wouldn't pick strong arm on like on. But I caught you couldn't pick it. But I wouldn't pick it even if I could pick it. <laughs> I've taken it strong. on trolls in the past, but it's not worth it. No, yeah, yeah I wouldn't take it on trolls. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when I was playing a lot of goblins, and it's just not worth it. Uh, basically, all the other skills give you more for the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, what, what, what's Flicky's a jump up tree? It could have been my favourite player. Oh, this is this a this a gap here. Look, if he blocks him, and he uh, okay, this is this is sidestep, but he could just dodge past here. If he if he powers this guy, he can dodge past here, or he can blitz through him, so he can get away. Um, the problem is he'd be leaving four players, <laughs> yeah. which isn't great. Um, but he could get back to these two that are up here, randomly. It's that strength up guy, his passer. Yeah, yeah, he's got he's got two strength up throwers, both move busted. <laughs> <laughs> They're twins, twins, Basil. It's amazing. Chaos Warrior Chaos Warrior throwers. <laughs> oh wow, that's a great picture of Flicky. <laughs> and normally it's unbelievable having a hundred viewers here at five AM. That's really quite something. Um <laughs> Amazing really. <laughs> <laughs> Big thanks to Muppet for the intro. I was super early today. It was. It felt <laughs> weird. <laughs> oh, yeah. Guess. Guess we just care that much about Ducky. Yeah, it's pretty great having Ducky in back in Chalice, isn't it? So. Yeah. I was talking to him about it, and he was like feeling a bit. Uh, sometimes, like he didn't like it that people were so happy because he felt like a lot of outside pressure, um, oh. which obviously has to do with. I was feeling overall. Yeah. Uh, and I can really relate to that. Like, you just invent 
an outside pressure that just isn't there. And on a good day, you know that it's not. And on a bad day, it just crushes you. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Sad times. But he's happy to be here. That's Lord. good. Where's the guard? He's just got one guard. Is the other guard... Where's the... Didn't he have two guards? Oh, stunned. So the other guard's stunned, so he can't get the guard in there. He could block him and then get three assists, but he, then he just runs out of players to hit the ball, really, doesn't he? So It's a bit of a pickle. Maybe he'll just do the uphill. But that seems rubbish, doesn't it? Yeah. Might have a little bit of a think this turn. No, not that much of a think. <laughs> His knees showing. <laughs> I have my blanket on with shorts on under. <laughs> <laughs> Nice that you're predictable. <laughs> <laughs> Every day is the same. <laughs> I googled knees because I was trying to find some some knees to put in the picture and I can't find knees, but I have found a knee that looks like Channing Tatum. <laughs> <laughs> Secret mighty blow on the war dancer. Oh, wow. Wait, how did he get the... Oh, he blitzed with his guard, and that's how he got guard in. I thought the guard was too far away to get in for the assist, but he just uphilled, uphilled the ogre and blitzed with the guard. And then he's got the ball. Oh, good stuff. And he just hands off to the shadow. Shadowing <laughs> fails. <laughs> oh, he's rolled a one, though. No, he hasn't. Well, there you go. And that is... It's not over! <laughs> but it's uh, really bad for the humans. Is this live or is it... Uh... This is live, yeah. yeah. Believe me, Diddle, I wouldn't be up at this time if, if it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> it is crazy early. 100% <laughs> dedication getting up at 5am. <laughs> Table for three by a tree, please. Our friend can perch over the table with a seagull. <laughs> 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 oh, God. Elf stuff. Don't say it's GG. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> that would, I agree, Billy, but then Ducky just does that. Like, he really couldn't get the ball that turn because the guard advantage was just too much and then he just up and stuff till he had the dice and cast the catcher or the thrower like absolute dice lord some games you're just not meant to have a chance in but yeah i mean yeah it was always like it was always fucked when he didn't have like, he's missing yeah. his three blitzers if he has those three blitzers then he's got some tackle and then it's uh you know, then he's got a chance, but like, he's still got a chance, obviously, you just have to roll ridiculously good to have a chance. Yeah, and the, that's the thing, right? Ducky, Ducky isn't playing scared at all. He's just playing face rolling right now. Yeah, look at this. I'd both Arch 5 dancers both exposed. You know, if he's got if he's got a pommer, if he's got a tackle yeah. pommer, these are not both <laughs> exposed. <laughs> like 100%. Yeah. But um, as it is, he just doesn't give a shit, does he? So there you go. Ducky might have the slight upper hand, indeed. Neurozzzz. And uh, hello, El Dudorino. And anybody else I missed? Sorry. Hello. Like the bolt and the dancer. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Even without. I mean, yeah, but I mean, I, I, I still wouldn't expose these dancers. It's true. I would, but you know, I would, I would yeah. be very, uh, I'd be very cautious now. Two nil up. I would want my dancers protected even against no tackle. But, um, there you go. 
Yeah, I would definitely. I would probably bench one right now. In fact, I'd probably bench one and play this catch. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, he can go 3 0 up um, by halftime. And then he can just. Then he can bench one. The second. Yeah. Man, I loved that. I loved that game that I had with my uh, my my really well. I think it was my high elves. I think it was my high elves versus uh, versus Ogres, where I just literally benched like my four best players for the whole match. <laughs> I'm like, fuck this! I don't want them dying. I don't want them dying in this stupid fucking ogre game. <laughs> <laughs> the uphill will be pow pow cards. Oh yeah. Did that happen? No, it was a one D, wasn't it? He did a one D, or even two D, wasn't it? It was. The uphill uh, was both down on the ogre, right? Yeah, it was. Yeah, and then exactly. It was, he he then... got the two D, the uh, ball. Yeah, he got the two D on the ball, but I don't remember how he got uh, if it was a one D uh, with the garter. Um, to get the, so it's a one D and then uh, no, it's a one D. It must have been a one D on the ball as well because he was trying to four, right? Yeah, but he had he had the guy next to him who who powered the ogre. And no, then but he, he had was the down guy. behind, wasn't he? Never mind. Like, oh, was he behind? Was, oh, okay. Then yeah, I think so. Then. It was pretty ridiculous, I said. No? Yeah, one D on uh, the ball. No, like if you put that into a sequence, like you're not supposed to. And yeah, it's it's true, it's true, Veli, that like this is the best. Uh, yeah, one day, all right, thank you, very good. Yeah, yeah, two D, go up, let's red die, and I'll go one day on ball. But um, the the thing is, yes, you know, these are terrible players to go through because you've got the tree there holding the center, and then these are holding it. So these are actually really protected from getting blitzed. And it's like I often put my uh, my best players in these positions because like you know if they have to score because this is the absolute singular worst play at this blitz isn't it like if yeah. they, they generally want to go down the sideline to get there or they can go through the middle but then like if they blitz this guy they're just definitely not getting through so i generally put my best players here if i just really want to protect them um, or, or obviously here you know if i don't want to put them here then i'll put them here um because yeah. they they can't literally they just yeah, those are the four through. safest squares yeah however um if I'm winning 2-0 versus a team that has got no chance of beating me. <laughs> which, uh, which is, you know, this is almost, this is almost no chance. Of, then I think it would be fine to uh, to protect the dancers there. As I said, like, I think he's looking at um, the possibility to go 3-0 as well. Because mm. then, like, he doesn't have to play. Like, 2-0, he still has to be aware of things like the wizard and, like, bad dice. But 3-0, it's done, right? Yeah, true. So having having the wood having the water answers there, not only are they protected as you said, but they're also like um, they can also reach the entire field uh, from those positions, uh, both of them. So they're they're both uh, um, available for uh, for sacking and for collecting um, and the scoring threats and defensive threats. So like I I after like more considerable consideration, like I really like this setup from Lucky. Because mm. yeah, the the strength one was always the the blitz target. <laughs> strength one. <laughs> yeah, he's just gonna be just gonna play it safe, isn't he? And blitz the catcher on three D with tackle. Rubbing it in. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I've got two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's sad, sad times for this human team. Humans. Yeah, I'm a pretty disgusting turn from Ducky, honestly, with the, uh, the uphill to get the one day on the ball and then getting it and getting away with it and scoring. But I mean that's Woody's, isn't it? And yeah. Skaven, like you know, you you can get situations where you can roll those dice, and it's not even that bad if you fail. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, his that is um, his fail state was like, all right, you've got the ball on a moment five. <laughs> <laughs> where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So now this is this is pretty decent actually. Like, I think you bring up. Griff here. 
I wonder if he, Griff should have been closer last turn so that he could have got to here and then been in range with Griff. So I guess Griff, like, you know, I, I know he wanted to stay out of, oh wow, he's just doing an attrition fireball. And, okay. <laughs> just, not, not what I would have done. Um, no, that's, like, we've already <laughs> almost lost and now just definitely. Yeah, like, do that next turn. Like, do that next turn, at least, like, you know, so that you can break through and score. Yeah. Like, but now it's just... Even if you knocked all three over, he just stands them back up next turn and gets in your way and makes you score hard next yeah. turn. Oh, this is looking horribly... I mean, it was already looking horrible, but you know, like it's before the game started. It was. You don't horrible. have to make it worse yourself. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. But you know, like it been, it'll have been hard mentally for God of War, like you know, with so many play, like you know, knowing how horrendous the matchup was, wasn't it? So. Like, it's... And that, that's what I meant, like with the with the Ducky's two no score, like that's just the. Uh, breaking the spirit of the opponent um i've uh <laughs> i've had that happen to me <laughs> and then you're just no i'm done and that's well probably what we saw from god War right there um he's done he gets a touchdown now but obviously i so you know i guess i guess he thinks look i'm not gonna be able to score next turn if i use the wizard and score this turn and then Ducky might not score the one turn. So in that yeah. case, it's not so bad, right? I mean, it is an over over. But you would fancy Ducky to score the one turn here, wouldn't you? Just need to one push. Yeah. Yeah. No stand firm. No, the fireball didn't guarantee it, but like you know, he's he's up against it, right? It's up against it, so it's it's he's do it. The the fireball is doing something to help the score that turn, like it's helping the score that turn potentially, and it was three players, including the dancer. Like you know, it's got some high roll potential. Like I actually think it, like if if you've assessed that you can't score next turn, I feel like using the fireball there is somewhat fine, right? You can high roll by removing the dancer. Um, all the other players, it's not that bad because you don't want to keep the wizard and then like use it late and it's got no effect. Like it was, it was Rick. Funnily enough, Rick's ridiculous optimism that opened me up to some of the, you know, maybe he's using an earlier fireball and uh, or like an earlier wizard in general than I would, just because it has got that high rolling potential of removing players, hasn't it? Which is, you know, you shouldn't shouldn't underestimate. If, if, the, uh, you, if you're feeling that you're so far behind that you're likely to use the fireball, then yeah, uh, I agree. Otherwise. There's, like, if if you're still intent on using it as a lightning bolt, then no, because you need that threat of the wizard to contain the opponent. But it's still, it can still factor into your equation, right? Like, you know, if it's, if it's, if you can fire, like, if you can lightning bolt on turn two and it's okay, and, but, and you're on the fence about whether to use it, the fact that it's turn two can, can actually help you because, you, you know, if, if you cast that guy. Um, oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean... Mm. It's, it's definitely, like, you have to assess the entire situation. <laughs> like, taking... He was the one that was going to blitz. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he can just blitz with his wrestler instead, but it's funny. Um, this is pretty shit from Ducky, isn't it? Surely he could have done better to, like, not need the... Uh... Like, couldn't he have just put the guy here and, like, well, don't... Know. Why is he using the whole method? That seems really shit. Like, couldn't he just hit from this angle? Like, that's really bad from oh, Ducky. Yeah, he should have been. I expect better, better from Ducky, honestly. That's. Yeah, that was pretty cool. I'm with you, Jim. I've just added the numbers up, and yes, I do think he could have done it without the whole method. Perhaps he's just very used to the whole method. Also, hey, PC. Yeah. Hey. You're the only one that's not... Um, uh, this is not a safe zone for you. For everyone else, this is a safe zone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There was a guard there, but he's got a strength ass. four and he's got another player. Like, it was well easy to do it. Yeah. 
Um, and I mean, the other advantage of not using the whole method is it's a greater chance to push yourself. You can actually push yourself outside if you choose to. Yeah. So instead of dodging through the lines, you can just go outside of the one that's at the far left corner as we see it. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, PC. Yeah. Earlier we were saying, Hello. you know, no, nobody's nobody's mean to anybody in this channel except PC. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Yeah, everyone's mean to me consistently. <laughs> Discussion of my age, no one seems to think is offensive, but yet I'm constantly dogged for being the oldest man yeah, alive. Yeah, always. <laughs> like, the ageism in this community is shocking. pretty... Shocking, shocking. Yeah, vile. <laughs> vile. <laughs> fucking children have got no respect at all. <laughs> oh, 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 shadowing! Shadowing! <laughs> How exciting. <laughs> It's just like an abusive lover. Jim knows I'm going to hurt him, but he can't leave me alone. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, shadowing <laughs> fails. Is he going to follow, follow him all the way into the end zone? That would be glorious. Oh, no. No, he failed. I, I did that once. I followed someone all the way into the end zone. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I, I had a... Oh, no, it's not shadowing. I, I had a there, was a... there was a... There was a card in, you know, uh, in on Fumble for a while. Um, that gave a player pass block and shadowing, and I, I, it, but it was random, and I gave it to a dwarf longbeard, and he used his shadowing in the game, like successfully shadowed somebody, and then he stopped the score with pass block, I think, or 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 maybe no, maybe it was shadowing, maybe it was shadowing. Yeah, I think it That's was shadowing crazy. rather than pass block. I think it was actually shadowing that like got stopped me a touchdown because he shadowed somebody like movement six, and then. <laughs> On the second dodge. As we all know, there is a small faction that believes the rules should in some way reflect reality. Um, <laughs> I, I just think that's such an insane thing to ever think, let alone try and push for. But they were terribly upset that a goblin with tentacles could now hold anything if it, if the, anything doesn't roll, a, you know, if the goblin rolls a six or its tentacles roll. So you can now give ridiculous skills to things that seemingly shouldn't have it and still get good results. A snotly, in fact, could have tentacles now, couldn't it? Yeah, because of yeah, the yeah. World. yeah. Oh, well, yeah, as I said true. before, I've already faced a dauntless beer pig. There's all sorts of monsters running around the modern Blood Bowl world. <laughs> Is that a one-turn defence? I, I don't think Ducky got mixed in turns. I just think he thinks there's no real chance of a one-turn, so he's going to set up against a uh, riot. Yeah. Which is maybe a mistake, but... I mean, the one-turn is a good option here, isn't it? Because you do need to turn Ducky over, so just getting your... You know, getting back to three two and only having to turn them over the once would be <laughs> lovely. Oh yeah, like he's got to go for the he's got to go for the one turn for sure. Uh, don't must be a pig. Uh, really is you can do it with uh, the white dwarf. Yes, that's how you can do it. Don't must be a pig. Yeah, Grumbrinder. There you go. So you can do it. You can, it can make it. Done. So. It has been done. To PC, in fact. <laughs> yep, to me. <laughs> The strength four Amazons and strength six Amazons. I think you know. I think that that part of realism in Blood Bowl is a bit silly. Having strength four, like base strength four humans, because like in the fluff, Amazons are just humans. Like if they yes. were like if they were some kind of mystical Amazons, you know, some which they could be, right? Because it like you know you've got the yep. cafe or like the dragons and stuff, right? So like if you if you just like made Amazons somehow mystical, not humans, then starting them like. With strength four yes, results, channeling but, some shamanic spirit or something. Yeah, some absolute bullshit. Whatever yeah. idiotic fluff you want to make up, but they haven't. They're just no. They're just humans. You know, they're just yep. humans that are like that start as strong as Griff and can be stronger than Zug. Like it's they even have a um, they have a, a sort of poison frog star lady now, don't they? So if yeah. they're bringing the sort of poisons of the Amazon in, then why not have them? You know, doped up on something at least. Yeah. Because at the moment, the only human that hasn't sort of made a pact with Chaos that ends up... I suppose Chaos Warriors could be seen as humans at Strength 4, but they've made a pact with a Chaos God. Yeah, they're not humans. There's no way you can count Chaos Warriors as humans. Right. So the only humans that get Strength 4 out the box are Amazon Blitzers. Uh, no, not even Blitzers, are they? Blockers, they call them. Blockers, yeah. But, I mean, it does make it an interesting piece, and I think it's going to be very difficult to get the ball off them. Yeah. As you can't use Guard on them. Yep. And as no one is taking um, defensive as a skill, it'll be interesting to actually see it in play. 
Yeah, it's weird. James made the very good point that, uh, well, articulated the point that I I had already thought of. But um, it, like of the defensive is like not is like not really starting with it, right? Even though even though they start with defensive, it's yeah, of no use for a long time. So yeah, yes. it, it, not like I discounted defensive when when discussing them because of that reason. I just didn't really say it. But yeah, that's that's the thing, isn't it? It's like it's it's mad. That, it's like, going to be useful in nav builds, of course, as so much in this modern rule set is. Yeah. Um, you can see how, you know, an, an orc team would would struggle to use the guards or Kemri even. Why did you do that? Yeah, this seems. Oh God! Why? <laughs> oh God! Oh God! That was the worst thing That's... I could have done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the oh my god! Did you just miss sidestep? Mm. I it would have failed the four. Made it harder, but it possibly needed to be. But man, what? I mean, not not by much, to be fair, did it? I suppose Why? if you've got the power, it made it a lot yes. worse. It made it a lot worse. Yes, the way. Unless you got the power. <laughs> yeah. Hello, fire me. <laughs> In which case, it was just pure greed or not seeing the sidestep, but. As both dancers have sidestep, it's sort of a key feature you'd have thought you'd mentally prepared for in this game. Yes. <laughs> I only here because for some reason I can use the chat and it gets always connecting to chat. Oh. And also to say the why. You know, that was my cue there, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, perfection. <laughs> well, you text yeah, things yeah. up immeasurably just by arriving. Yes, <laughs> yes. But no, no, I'll, I'll be off uh, soon, I mean. Yeah, so my support here, and I have a question for the people in the chat, maybe someone knows. What's the deal with Russian coaches and giving uh, fast players Sorry, I extra, armor, for a second. Um, extra yeah. armor instead of extra movement? Because this is not the first team on Chalice. I think there is a dwarf team with also has a runner with extra armor instead of extra movement. Yeah, Mr. Page was the trailblazer, wasn't he? Last season, he took he took plus armor on his ball carrier, and he got lightning bolted loads of times. <laughs> and, and, and every time, like the, the plus AV was crucial. So maybe, maybe the Russians saw that and thought, mm, "I like this." <laughs> All right, uh, hey, Fimer. Um Since there's three of you now, and I no, no, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm, I'm leaving. I just, just came to ask that and say why. <laughs> Uh, I'm in and out I'm a tiny I'm bit for the next 20 minutes, Dadel, so really you and Jimmy are still the main team. No, yes. but Ayla keeps, bu keeps bugging me. She wants to go out. <laughs> okay, well, between the two of us, we'll try and help. But I'm yeah. off for a few minutes, too. I'll be back in uh, 15, 20. Okay, cheers! Cheers! <laughs> 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 Which <laughs> these guys are not in GFW, yeah. Yeah, it's a tragedy, isn't it, that uh, the Dadel hasn't been made in GFW, but there you go. Yeah, I'll be back on my own soon. Fantastic. <laughs> Forever alone. Yeah, Singolo. The thing with Singolo is, though, he, like, he didn't take blitzers. Like, he's you know, like, I've only got one edge three player. And it's like, well, you don't have to have one edge three player. <laughs> you know? And plus move is really good. Like, plus move is really good, like, for ball carriers. So... Even though, you know, I can understand wanting the plus AV, but it's like a lot of time in real games, plus movement is really fucking good and wins you the game. <laughs> it really is. It makes to me slightly more sense on that blitzer. Because with the plus strength, I guess he planned to just put him right up in the fight constantly. Um, yeah. but sorry, the thrower he's turned into a, a battler. Yeah. But taking that plus armor means he hasn't got block, which means he's... A chocolate teapot is completely useless as far as I'm concerned. Yes. Yeah. It also means he hasn't taken Mighty Blow when it, if it was a double five, that might have been an option. God hopes it was six four, of course. A blitzer is a thrower, right? Yeah. 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 Sorry, I thought it was a blitzer, it's not. So it's blockless. It's just it's a horrible piece. Yeah. It's one. You know, if at least he has the extra movement, he can still be movement six. <laughs> yeah, 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 he's, he's he turned into yeah. a Chaos Warrior, it's hilarious, he's literally a Chaos Warrior with pass and shoe hands for the same TV, he's a Chaos Warrior with pass and shoe hands. <laughs> yeah, so, hooray for that. Um, I mean, he's, he just doesn't do his original function, and he's no use as he's been built, but 
I mean, he's strength four, armor nine. You can stick that somewhere and let people hit it, I suppose. Yeah. Now, this is the situation you really want as humans, isn't it? Your main ball retriever uh, obviously knocked out on the kickoff event, and you only send one human back yeah. against elves. Yeah. I mean, that's insane. I mean, it is Griff, so it doesn't really count as a human. <laughs> but still, it's it's a terrible, terrible plan, and almost certainly game over. Yeah, it's terrible. But then he had to do it right. He's two touchdowns down, so he can't he can't put players back down to defend the ball. His his only option is to run one back and then scoot yeah. it forward, isn't it? Really, scoot yeah. it forwards. I mean, I, I you could have sent a pack of three, tried to get off the tree and hold a, a cage somewhere on the line of scrimmage to bring it forwards to. But he needs to get this score done in three or four. Yeah. So I guess he's taking a calculated risk. And there's a good chance Griff can get that ball up to something, but unfortunately everything is on the tree, so that's terrible too. Yeah. Oh, God, and he skulls. And hence he double skulls. And it's, it's over. Don't say it's on over. On one die to give him some chance of knocking the tree over. Yeah, has anyone checked if any odds in chat? Because this is over. <laughs> I think the Woodies are going to score again. I... For me, I, I think that's an insight. Um, <laughs> you must know your blood ball. You know, there is a chance. I mean, there could be, you know, going for the stall. Will be also, you know, stalling a few times there, but I think Zach is going for the score. Oh, yeah, he's going for the score. He wants he wants all the he wants all the touchdowns on the move nine guy, right? He's, he can yeah. level him right now. <laughs> he's, he's scored three touchdowns this match. <laughs> like, that was the what, the weakness of the team was this guy only having one skill, and then at six SPP, he's already got nine. He's going to try and go for another two touchdowns on him and just, just yeah. pile on the SPPs on this move nine guy. And of course, the more he scores, the more desperate it becomes for God of War to take the risks and try and score quickly to have any chance. Yeah. Like really, at four one, he just doesn't, does he? Yeah, I think he gives up at four one. Yeah, I think he gives up at four one. So the, the, there is the argument for maybe stalling it out just so that you don't get beaten as much because now he's not going to try and get back from four one. He's no, just he, going to try and like really blitz and foul you and stuff. <laughs> yes, yeah, I mean, if I was uh, God of War, I say, okay, game is lost. So time to destroy your team. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bench the bench the dancers. Well, one dancer. He's only got one reserve, but he could maybe bench it. Could think about benching his best dancer if he if he goes up forward. Well, I mean, I, I yeah, I, I see what you mean about getting it over that next skill hump would be lovely, wouldn't it? But um, one more touchdown, it does skill anyway, doesn't it? Yes. Yes. So I think oh, he's I'd passing. He's skill. passing to get it to the next do one. The, yeah, <laughs> do the pass. Why not? Even though Griff's on the floor next to you, it's just the risk is just not there, is it? No. No, there is no risk there because there is no players that could reach anyway. So I think I mean, he's got guy could he's make. got three rerolls. He's got loads of elves. He can just vanity pass till the end of time, can't he? Yeah. That one he's just passed it to. Yeah, two uh, for passes. Touchdown. Yeah, two passes and a touchdown levels that. Um, I'm not sure there's anyone else in that little pack, but. No, everyone else around there is in a good spot. So yeah, that's probably where you go. There's no one else on the team, uh, to be honest. Not just that pack. Uh, the whole team. There's nobody else close. So yeah, two nope. touchdowns and a, two two completions and a touchdown for him. And yeah, this is very safe for getting beaten up. So maybe it's that. Maybe it's the safety yep. will encourage him to just vanity pass. Yeah, the only thing at risk is the tree, and you know. Who's ever given a shit about a tree? Nobody. Even then, it's AV10, it's block, it's fine, isn't it? Yeah, and, he's still and it's still his... holding up two thirds of this team. And he's still got his apple, so. Yeah, you, you definitely take your, your tree getting hit over your dancers. Though, there's a dancer that's engaged. Yeah, I, I would have run away. Um, but okay. I'm also not sure I'd keep the plus strength on that mighty blow. I think I'd just literally run away and do my vanity party. Mmm. Foul Griff the Dancer gets safely sent off. Not a terrible idea. Yeah, that is nice. Oh, it's a three plus pass. Ah, uh, yes, it's sunny. Yeah, very sunny. I don't know why being an elf I didn't instantly check the weather. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, the aerial ball such being such a key part of how we play. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> yeah, PC the elf coach. Everybody knows that. <laughs> it's 
Facts. That's facts. That's the truth. There you are. Tree's already tanked one. That means the whole team's stuck on it again. Yep. That's a that's a good point, Ruzi. Who I think I think probably sidestep, just with the nature of it, like being Chalice and him not skilling again. Well, unlikely as yeah. he could skill again on him, but he's unlikely to skill again. So I think maybe sidestep for the one turn. Like it's it's a big part. Like if it's in ladder, you'd take block and you'd you'd get another skill in him, right? But yeah, I think with this, just the fact that he's only got a few more games in him, like what five more games in him max. Um, yeah. I mean, sidestep gives you a, a, essentially a natty unless they've got three stand firms. Yeah. Even with a sidestep, you can usually get a sidestep move nine sprint into range. Yeah, and and also like the games that you're playing, they're, they're likely to be able to stop you, aren't they? Like you yep. know, they're, you're likely to you're more likely to need to score a one turn in chalice than you are in than you are in ladder, basically. Is Griff doing Griff things? Nearly, yeah. Well. I mean, that is a Griff thing. Finn, that is a Griff thing, yeah. <laughs> Do four difficult rolls and then fail the moderately all right one. Yeah. Correct. Is Lorna work, though? But I... I'm not sure if he... No, no. Sidestep, sidestep helps you get, like, the put... Like, the... In, being in range is the most important thing. Like, that's the thing. Isn't yes. It? Being in range, but it being risky, is better than being out of range, but able to take the steps you can safely. Yeah. yeah. I mean, obviously both are great for one turning. Yeah, yeah, like obviously you'd want both eventually, you know, of course. Of course, you, ideally you would have block and sidestep and sure feet and, well, plus edge and another plus and movement. movement then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And IG5, yes, you know, yes, to look. Yeah. That, that's that's what uh, that's what thingy had. Uh, K fog K fog had plus two movement plus edge block sidestep. That was his uh, that was his natty that he won chalice with. Didn't have sure feet on him, but was all right at one turning. <laughs> He's done it once or twice. Mm. Yeah, that's a good point, Hammers. Yeah, that's great, isn't it? The, the one, the one person reroll for Griff is really good. Seeing as he's got like, it's he's insane. already got the dodge and the uh, the sure feet and stuff. So he's got he's got inbuilt rerolls, and now he's got now he's, he's loaded a three plus now. Yeah, now the one thing that he fails, he just definitely rerolls, and then yeah, and then the the loner, yeah, the loner three plus is interesting, isn't it? Just in case you know people didn't hate Griff enough. <laughs> yep, he now comes with his own reroll, which is just. I mean, it's why he's so incredibly broken. Really nice. In every edition of Blood Bowl that Griff has been present, Griff has been absolutely broken, absolutely unfair. Mm -hmm. When it comes to the course, I mean... Ooh! I think... Ooh! There is a tree there. Apple kind of works. He is missing the next game. Ooh, now. Um, I, I, who's the, any idea who the opposition is? Not a clue. Because there's some matchups that might even be better yeah, that's to have true. the TV benched for a game uh, and go in. I mean, K-Folk plays without trees all the time. It's, it's. I use this analogy all the time because I think it sounds clever. Um, I, it's like think, the yeah. Hong Kong rebellions that they described their tactics as being like water. I mean, elves can be like that without a tree, just baseless, moving all over the field every turn, flowing all around the place, finding space in all sorts of different places. Um, but it does make you very... It's I think very Ducky's hard to, to take on a you know a real beating without a tree, doesn't it? Ducky's team is now better for the next game without a tree. That's how we are more or less guaranteed. Well, I mean, it might be, yeah. It genuinely might be. Let's have a look. Um... It's, it's versus Veli or Necronorm, uh, humans or Nurgle. 17 sure and 16 so I guess you'd want I guess you were, I guess the Nurgle um, would claw the tree but I guess I don't know. against the humans you probably would want it wouldn't you yeah, yeah. dominate their ogre and tie up some line of scrimmage players well it's not that they, oh well uh, it's not it, there so screw him it's not that the, the tree has been very important in this game I mean uh... no so that's interesting. He went in one early, didn't he? Because he's only on 50 now. He hasn't got that final SPP. Yeah. 
He must have felt there was some pressure from Griff being alive. Yeah. But I mean, now he's definitely oh. won, so that's good, isn't it? Maybe it was the apple being gone that he just thought. Maybe, yeah, maybe it's that. So he can get dances. his dancers out of the way, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I guess that's what it was. That does make sense, doesn't it? Because yeah, it does. not doing that one extra pass and stalling for one more turn, when he certainly had the on field position to, um, seems a bit, bit odd. Yeah. But he is down to one reroll, and Apo's gone, and he probably just wants to keep things safe rather than that one extra skill. Because, I mean, already it's a blodge guard. What are you putting on it? Sidestep? Yeah. I mean, yes, that's that's what you're putting on it. But <laughs> sorry, I phrased that as a question. You're putting sidestep on it, but <laughs> theoretically, there are matchups where you might want another tackle. I suppose. Yeah, it's it would be, be nice to get sidestep on it, but yeah, it's not like it's not yeah. crucial, is it? It's not like no, it's, it's a nice not worth you getting your dancers hit and fouled. <laughs> if it didn't have block or guard or dodge, yeah. then I'd, I'd absolutely be saying you're mad not to get that one extra SPP, but for sidestep, yeah. yeah. Bit more marginal, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's true, I would, I would fancy, I would fancy Veli to beat Necronom in that, but, you know, he could still roll good, couldn't he? You know, Necronom, he's got some claw mighties on the, on the team, so he could roll well. Yeah, but Necronom, uh... He's going to be distracted. He's going to be looking over his shoulder just in case Elliot is behind him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Billy, word of advice. Schedule at 3 a.m. And, and then you've, you've already won the mental battle versus Necronom. <laughs> <laughs> Half Elliot as guest commentator. <laughs> well, I happened to... My sleep was interrupted last night, so I came downstairs to uh, just stretch my legs and get some fresh air and stuff. Uh, and I was on Rumbad's channel at about quarter past two, half past two, and Elliot suddenly popped in too, so he is still sometimes awake at the sniping. Yeah, he is, yeah, to be fair. He st he stayed in he stayed into the uh in the in the in the booth till till pretty late the other night, so that was nice. Um, no, Hamas, my partner is abroad. <laughs> so the only form of love that would be open to me is very much of the um self fulfilling style. Oh god. I see you've picked uh, up the American abroad, lingo there. Abroad like uh, the word together, the A joining yeah. the broad. No, yeah, there is no broad, space. Yeah. There is no space, just yes, for in case someone <laughs> is getting it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Hundred percent again, fantastic. <laughs> Now that's an interesting side step there from Ducky. See, so trying to keep the shadowing not coming too near his other elves. Mm. Prepared to sacrifice this one, but not to draw that single piece. Oh, into the rest shadowing of the air. worked! Shadowing Brilliant. worked! Oh. I did not feel the equity shift. I don't know about you. Oh, look no, at what no. a great skill shadowing is, everybody! <laughs> Woo! It had an effect. <laughs> She might be Hamas, but I sort of hope not. <laughs> oh dear. Although, you know, one off the chore list. Everything's got an upside. <laughs> so, I mean, what do you do here? It's absolutely pointless scoring. There's, I mean, you can hurt the elves, but sort of why? Kick him in the head. Yeah, I'd probably just end the turn. I'd be. And dance, and dance, and yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's the one good thing about my first round match. I won't lose four <laughs> one. Jim guarantee will not lose four one. That would oh, seem yeah. unlikely. Yes. Mm. Oh, screw up. McNaughton's busy this week. <laughs> Nah, you don't need. You wouldn't get a ban from uh, from skipping turns now, would you? Right. Skipping turns would be fine. It was the ban was because he was deliberately getting his players like tip, t picking skulls and deliberately like getting uphill, like uphilling and. Yes, which players. is giving SVP away to the opposition. Yeah. Skipping turns four one down when you're not really in range. There's nothing you can positively do. There is zero chance of winning the game. 
Mm. If I got banned for that, I'd just say, well, then you're a bunch of pricks and go and do something else for a month or two. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, I mean that's ideal if you get banned in that situation, isn't it? Because then you're like, fantastic, fuck you. <laughs> now I know what an absolute piece of shit you are. <laughs> I think about some things, you know, that like if this happens, it's just it's just good, isn't it? Well, I mean, that's why Hamas keeps calling for me to be banned. I was technically I conceded in the Chalice final, didn't I? Mm. <laughs> it's one way of uh, seeing it. Well, faulty. Hello. Um, you know, that's the thing. I mean, that's not how the rules written, but the rules written idiotically anyway, right? Because if you're not playing to the best of your ability, then you can never concede ever and and people concede all the time and that's fine so it's all like you know it's all stupid isn't it it's all stupid and irrelevant and pointless that's blood ball for you <laughs> lore is still important jim <laughs> except it completely isn't is it? it's a stupid dice game yeah yeah l's taking the contra i think the l should be banned here for not defending this touchdown no, no, right. Do you know what? it always pisses me off when you're when you're winning like four one, and then your opponent like tries to stop you scoring again. It's like, dude, just let me let me yeah. let me let me get SPPs, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's nice that he's let him get his SPPs for open here. A children's dice game indeed. Well, whoever works out to be the last girl when we play Jim, I'll um, I might let her score for you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. We should work a time out for that, but you know we'll do that off stream. Uh, we should work out. I, I've said I've said on stream we should play like the last possible second before the deadline, just so I can stay in the <laughs> challenge for longer. <laughs> I, I think you've got a decent shot. I mean, you know, I, uh, I'd probably put it thirty, thirty-five percent, something like that. About yeah. one in three. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, you're a decent coach. It's a nicely built team. It can win. Something like rain would really help you, or heat. Yeah, I just can't believe you yeah, fucking there's took. There's ways it goes, right? Or a classic dicing. You didn't see that coming from a million million miles away. I didn't know. I literally, I literally just didn't think you would take it because you know I thought you'd think you'd win anyway and would take something for the other rounds. But uh, unfortunately for me, that that does hit my equity. They're probably down to thirty from maybe thirty-five or thirty-six. Is now down to twenty nine point four. Yeah, I do. I'm pretty shaved a couple of percentage points off. <laughs> that's also true, Pogler. I might fall asleep in the middle of the game. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Although, when you're wading through blood, having slaughtered women, it's kind of hard to fall asleep. <laughs> well, I, I think Rick Reckless sleeps pretty well. Are <laughs> oh, you talking about in Blood Bowl? Never mind. There is also the chance that the Jimmy middle of the night creates an account, you know, purple chest with a blank space. Yeah, I, I'm not <laughs> sure I want end, to learn. I'm at sorry. the end, and I start uh, swearing and insulting all every single opponent, <laughs> then he could make a screenshot and say, look, the old man has lost the plot, you know. <laughs> <laughs> After all, you just admitted right now that sometimes in the middle of the night, you get up and you turn on, you know, turn on your computer. I do, yes, I did do that. Which does seem insane. That is correct. <laughs> Imagine like sleepwalking playing Blood Bowl. <laughs> God, that'd be the worst. I woke Still up today be. feeling like absolute shit. Oh no, I must have been sleep Blood Bowling again. <laughs> yeah. Well, as it would mostly be against Americans, I think we'd have decent records too. So. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> Oh dear, 1%. That was a nice long sleep. Oh look, I'm 6-0. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't qualify as another team. <laughs> That's maybe you are the elf coach, you know, you... Wow. You have an account... Uh, There's a way everyone struggles an American to accept name. that I'm an elf coach for me. It's it's <laughs> it's obvious as the nose on your face. <laughs> I'm an expert at elfing. Hmm. <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? Faulty. It's not a 20%. It's way better than 20%. It's Blood Bowl, isn't it? You know, there's a lot of dice. Anyway, 
they're going to get back to this game that's happened. Uh, obviously, Ducky won. He was he was a huge um, favourite. He did. Um, a dominant performance. Um, some lovely one-turning. No, not really troubled throughout it. Had the dice, but used them incredibly well, as you'd expect. Yes. So there you go. Commiserations, God War. Congratulations, Ducky. Thank you for Daedal, who was here. Thank you very much, Fimea and PC, who still are here. Absolutely glorious. Glorious to be here, as always, and I'll be leaving now. Oh, Lovely much. and always a bit of a surprise just to be alive, Jim. <laughs> hey! Thanks, uh, for, hey. thanks for watching you, every, every day is a blessing. <laughs> Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic. <laughs>